Today we're going to look at a really cool way of defining the chords in the key with other chords from the same key. Here we're in C major, so we'll use our C major chord, C major 7. And we're going to look at the next interval up, that's a D minor, our 2 chord. Here's our D minor, that's a 1, flat 3, and 5 for D, right? If we look at those notes under the umbrella of C, what we find is that that's a 2, that's a 4, and that's a 6. So those are embellishment tones for C major. If we go up to the next interval, the third in the key, and take a look at those notes, E minor is a 1, flat 3, 5 for E minor, but under the umbrella of C major, that's a 3, a 5, and a 7. So that's the last half of our C major 7 chord. Right? So we can use that to create some tension over a C major chord with the embellishment tones. And then the E minor. Gives us the ability to resolve, right? So, embellishments, resolution. But it gets better than that. If we think about our D minor, we'll talk about D minor 7 here, as our chord that we want to define, and we look up at the next interval from it, the E minor, these become embellishment tones for the D minor. This is 2, 4, and 6. And the next interval after that, our F major, for D minor, this is 3, flat 3, sorry, 5, and flat 7. So those are chord tones. So for D minor, the E minor becomes our embellishments, and the F major, the next chord in the key, becomes our chord tones. And that's true all the way up the scale. So you can choose to define any chord in the key by using the next two intervals. First, the embellishments to create tension, and then the following uh, interval chord will give you chord tones. All right, have fun.